welcome back and it's new gun day so today I have the Crossman Prospect budget PCP air rifle now it's fresh out the box all I've done is I've added a scope so I've popped a Fiace 3 to 9 by 40 second foot plane fixed parallax scope which is a relatively inexpensive scope but this is a relatively inexpensive rifle so I thought I'd give it a go now this rifle actually has an awful lot going on, more than I realised. So this is a first look video and I'll follow this up with a full review and shooting video. So starting from the back end, we've got a nice rubberized butt pad, which is pretty soft actually, um, nice and absorbent. Probably not an issue on a PCPA rifle, but it's nice to have. Raised cheek piece, well actually the cheek piece is adjustable and it just adjusts on two flathead screws, which is nice and easy synthetic stock which is very solid in fact this isn't a light rifle this comes in scope to four and a half kilos so a lot of that weight is from this solid ABS stock now the actual finish on the stock is quite good all things considered because this isn't an expensive rifle pistol grip pistol grip is textured and it does feel nice and grippy it's got a kind of a soft feel to it although I don't think it's coated at all then we have the trigger, which is a two-stage adjustable trigger. Easy adjustment, there's a nice little screw hole just in there, pop in the screwdriver, and there's just one adjusting screw. Um, out of the box is set to about three pound, give or take. It's a manual safety, it's the toggle type, which you flick forward for live, and click back for safe. Nice and easy, very smooth, very definite and positive. Now, just above that, rather than a, a bolt, which is very nice and very similar to the T-Rex, actually. Um, it's not the smoothest of levers, but this is brand new out of the box. That may well change after one or two tins of pellets. Um, the other nice feature is the pressure gauge, which is on the underside, where you can look at it safely, which is something that I really do like, and it's unusual on the budget PCPs. Although I think something is happening with budget PCPs in the UK, you seem to be getting a lot more higher specification features on the relatively inexpensive guns. Now, the scope sits on a Picatinny rail, and the Picatinny rail is either side of the magazine. Um, it's a 10 shot magazine in 2.2 and a 12 shot magazine in 1.77. This is a 2.2. I've currently got the single shot tray installed because I'm just literally running it in, testing it. Um, I'll get to the magazine at a later stage. It also has a power adjuster. So on the opposite side, there's a rotary control just there and um, set to high, where I think it will stay. You can turn the whole thing down. It's uh, different to the others I've had because it is just a finger wheel, which is nice, but um, it's not as definite, it's just a rotary control. Um, and there is a there is an indent you can just about feel as you turn it, you don't hear anything. Um, and it's not very positive, but it works. Um, the barrel itself is shrouded. Now, Crossman say that this is a an integrated silencer, and uh, I think they're probably right because it's pretty quiet. And they're so confident in that claim that they include a half inch UNF thread at the end to add your own side so, which I think is well because it's 44 inches long already. Um, field pressure is 3600 psi and it's a nice straightforward foster fitting. Nothing too fancy. The cap is plastic, as well as the mark, but everything else is metal. There's virtually no plastic other than the stock. It's all nice quality, well finished. I would say actually it looks like something much more expensive. Now I've only put maybe a few pellets through um, and I was getting some good ribs and very consistent. That's because it's regulated. So at the budget price point you've got a regulated PCP air rifle with a lever action with a power control choice of single shot or magazine 
The magazine itself is, is pretty good. I'm going to have to do some testing on that before I can give you a, um, an opinion, but I think I'm going to be happy with it. Uh, the weight, which isn't... Well, it's heavy. Let's, let's be honest. Scoped, it's heavy. This is a very light scope, so I've got about nine pound in weight. Maybe more. But the weight does sit slightly forward, which is where you tend to put your hand. So it feels pretty good. I wouldn't want to be holding it up for too long, um, but rested, I think this will be an excellent um, target and hunting rifle. Now, to some of the downsides, which are not really downsides, they're just vehicles. There's no provision for a tripod or any accessories, so you would have to add your own mounting assembly. Um, I would have liked to have seen the same swivels, but you can't have everything, particularly not when you're the budget end. That really is all I can say that is wrong with it. Other than that, it's a really nice rifle. Now, Crossman, as we all know, is a very well-known American air rifle manufacturer. This particular rifle is made in China, as so many are now. Looking at the overall finish, um, this is as good as they get, I think, with the uh, Chinese air rifles. This is a really nicely well thought out, well designed, and well finished rifle, which is about as much as you can say about any of them. Now, I will say that the stock is incredibly solid. I know I've said that already, but it does feel very substantial. It doesn't feel cheap. There's obviously no flex because I'm pretty sure it is solid. Um, it does feel like you're holding something expensive, um, and obviously it's not. Now, just a quick note on price. I picked this up from my friends at Protec Supplies and I'll pop a link in the description. They haven't induced me to say anything nice about the rifle or them. They are a good bunch down there. I, wherever I can, that's what I try to buy my, um, my stuff from. Uh, it's a bit of a story and I think I'll save that for a later video, but these range in price quite wildly. So when I looked, um, some were as much as 459, 469, some were as cheap as 319. I did get a deal. I always do get a deal from the guys at Protec. They, they do look after me and anyone else for that matter. Um, I won't tell you how much I paid because I don't think um, that's relevant. But I will say that for the money, even if you end up paying the high end of you know, 400 and something, you do get an awful lot of bang for your buck. And you've got something that is unique looking as well. There aren't a lot of rifles around that can match this on looks. Now, I know there'll be people that don't like it, and there always are. Um, and I'm not big on tactical black stocks. And I keep saying that, and then I keep shooting tactical black stock rifles, but I do like this. I think this is really well thought out. The ergonomics of it are very good. It's a thumb hole. Um, and the fact you've got the adjustable cheek piece, you've got a soft butt pad, which, okay, we're not talking about recoil, but it's comfortable. You can push it into your shoulder and you don't even know it's there. Yes, it's a bit heavy, you know, but you can't have it all, as I said. And it does feel very nice. It shoulders very well. So that's basically what I've got and what you'll get for your money. I'm gonna do some shooting and um, I'm going to do some testing. I'm going to take this out and spend perhaps a day with it and uh, see how it copes out in the wilds. I'm confident it's going to be okay, actually. I can't see anything that's going to be an issue. Um, and the other thing is it's hand pump friendly. So if you're new to PCP shooting, you pick yourself up one of these. If you've got a Stuart pump, it's not going to kill you pumping the thing up. I don't know how many shots you get from a magazine or from a full fill of air. Um, but that's something I will find out. The magazine itself also has a shot counter, which tends to be something that's on the more expensive rifles. Got distracted then as a grasshopper. Uh, there's always something, isn't there? But that's that's it really. That's the Crossman Prospect. So I'm going to pop some close-ups in, um, and if there's time, I'll add a bit of shooting. But this isn't really what the video is about. This is to introduce you. To the latest addition to the collection and let you know there's a much more in-depth video coming. I do think I might pop this out and start 
and get a stock in a little bit of camo treatment. I think it'll look fantastic in a, a DMP or forest camouflage, which is probably what I'll do. And if I do, I'll come back and I'll, I'll give you an update. But in the meantime, please like and subscribe. If you have already, it's a big thank you. I really do appreciate it. And um, keep uh, an eye out because I'm going to be back and there'll be a lot more of this rifle. So I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.